What's some juicy gossip you just found out in your personal lives? My friend just dropped out of university to become an escort, he's happier, apparently. I just found out my neighbor has been having an affair with another one of my neighbors and the kids figured it out. I used to see them go jogging sometimes. That my brother asked my mom for a $1,000 for rent. She gave him $1,400 so he could also pay back a loan. Then he turned around and also asked my dad for $1,000 for rent which he also gave him. He then turned around and used the money to buy tickets to Burning Man. My parents aren't going to lend out any more money without talking to each other first. 1. Cousin's wife finally caught his cheating ass. 3 years he's been playing her for a fool. But she actually knew. She just loves him too much. 2. Heard that the asshole who got me fired got fired because of the email that I sent to the company's VP. Honestly wish I went with filing for a labor case though. 3. Apparently. I'm adopted. Not really sure if the ancestry thing works. I want to find my biological parents. So much stuff is happening. I don't even know any more lol. My sister is pregnant with her third child. Third guy. The first father. V. Is awesome he has custody of both their child and her second. No biological relationship to him. The second baby daddy has apparently been threatening my sister and V after learning of the third child and that V took her in. V and my sister still have a functional platonic relationship at this point, and due to fear of reproach from the second, and maybe the third, V has taken both kids, my pregnant sister, and his own so with him out of state to make sure there's no reproach from two or three. V is one of my favorite humans, he treats the second child like his own. Despite no longer being in a romantic relationship with my sister, since 2010, dude is as good as they come, in my opinion. My ex after one week of being single started dating this SoundCloud rapper. Now she's pregnant with twins. We're still in our teens. Our pastor was having an affair with his cousin's wife. One day while giving a sermon the cousin storms into church. Tackles the pastor and starts to throw haymakers at him. The cousin's wife is trying to pull her husband off the pastor. The pastor's wife quickly figured out what was happening, ran up and clocked the wife from behind knocking her out. People are trying to separate everyone. Total chaos. Just found out the other week through the grapevine that two of my exes are now together. My friends were coming to me like, hey didn't you used to date both of them? How did that happen? One of them is very mild mannered and relaxed and we ended it amicably because we were getting bored. The other one is hot headed impulsive, and motivated. That one ended because we both had trouble communicating our grievances in a healthy manner. Given my experience with both of them, I have no idea how they're gonna make it work, but I wish them both luck. My work requires everyone in our group have security clearance. It's boring work and the most basic of clearances. Wednesday a co-worker's desk was completely cleaned out. We were told she lost her clearance and was fired. Weird. Her BFF spilled the beans later. Turns out Sharon had met a man online and they were madly in love, and she cashed out her 401k, her life savings and a second mortgage to send to him. She's 67. To no one's surprise he's not a real person and it was all a scam. He claimed he was royalty from Nigeria. Work found out when she started borrowing money from co-workers and it made its way to our boss. It's very sad but still. WTF she was around when the whole Nigerian email scam was around. She should have known better. ETA. Grammar. My dad is having an affair. Just found out 30 minutes ago. Mom is devastated although I had my suspicions. They've been married for 46 years. Dad is 73. A girl I worked with accused me of getting extremely drunk while babysitting her child and told the entire building of people I work with. For starters. I don't drink. She compulsively lies and everyone knows her for that. But I still can't believe it. Oh. And she paid me $10 for watching said kid and then stole it back and blamed it on one of my house guests wild that my uncle left my auntie for the phone six line worker he was calling for the last three years when an ex and i broke up a little over four years ago it was bad we were both getting clean and on methadone the things that were said november of 17 x asked a mutual friend if he and his girlfriend could come stay with me since they were homeless i'm an idiot i can't say no i was homeless for 10 or so years so i know how bad it can be when i kicked them out they had stolen so much from me I didn't have a lot to begin with. The breach even stole a bunch of my underwear. I literally just found out about an hour ago that she is in jail for possession. Got caught with 40 ounces of liquid herion. Karma baby. Karma. Edit thank you for my first platinum stranger. My cousin has been together with his wife for 14 years and has had a girlfriend for just as long. Neither of them knew about the other. He got caught because of an image on Facebook. His wife's sister posted a family picture which my cousin was in and got recognized by his girlfriend's sister's acquaintance. He got away with that for 14 years. 
I have a coworker I'll call Jess, who always talks about her kids in detail and asks for favors because of her kids, i.e. picking up shifts, asking for rides, etc. One of our other coworkers' son goes to the same bar as said girl. She doesn't know who he is, and one night was spilling her guts about how she always takes advantage of her coworkers and that she doesn't even have kids. She doesn't know that we know. Edit. Thank you so much for all the comments, gold and suggestions. I will definitely update everyone if anything interesting develops. One of my workmates found another guy we work with on Tinder, but he's married with a three-year-old at home, and his bio and photos said nothing about any of that. My ex-wife and I finalized our divorce last June. She's giving birth in a few weeks with the guy she was cheating on me with. If it was anyone else I wouldn't care as much. But since it's this guy, it hurts. Oh and she email invited me to buy them gifts off of their baby registry. So I'm trying to think of the most petty item I could get, though I know I shouldn't show I give a sit. My gran has a brother who I've never heard of nor met, who lives in London. They lost all contact over 30 years ago after my granddad died, and he spent the money my gran sent him for transport up to Scotland for the funeral on drugs. My mum told me this over Facebook last week. My two friends just found out they have the same sugar daddy. They had both been under the impression that they were exclusive with him. Not recently but the biggest is that my aunt got arrested a while back for embezzlement. She didn't do any jail time I don't think just has to pay it back. This isn't much of a surprise though because after the roof of the blockbuster she managed collapsed she stole all the candy lol. My hairdresser is leaving her husband and five kids to marry an Italian basketball player. Manager is having threesomes with two servers. I was told that my great-grandfather kept the family farm in business by blatant and repeated acts of insurance fraud. Well my dog acts like she doesn't like our new cat but I caught them playing last night and as soon as she noticed me she runs over to me pretending she wasn't playing. Scandal. I have no life, this was the peak of my weekend. Edit, thanks for the silver, my first silver. Woo this weekend has now hit a new peak. Oh my goodness and my first gold. Thanks everyone. This is too much excitement. I think I need a nap. An ex-friend of mine from high school is now in the middle of the second divorce. Apparently it's because she cheated on her second husband with her now current boyfriend. This is the second time she's cheated on her husband and I'm curious if she'll marry the current boyfriend and then cheat on him. My coworker makes $10 an hour works part-time and pays for her live-in. Still married. Boyfriend's rent and child support cause he's broke. She just found his bank receipt showing $17,000 in his checking account. Just found out that my brother, who divorced his ex-wife a year ago, got married to a new woman in secret. I mean secret as in that he hasn't told his own kids about it. 10 and 12 years old, he hasn't told us either. Rest of the family. My mother just accidentally said it to all of us, so now we know but are to pretend we don't know. None of us have met his new wife that we don't know as his wife but still know as his wife. Commenting from my other account. A couple that we have been friends with for a few years now, both very normal people with vanilla jobs. Took a trip overseas that was supposed to last a week, not unusual for any of our group of friends. No one had heard from them for close to a month until we found out they've been arrested on the other side of the frocking earth trying to smuggle out close to one frocking million dollars for an international drug cartel out of the country they were visiting. When we heard the news we were just sitting there quietly in disbelief for about five minutes. My buddy got so drunk at a party. He whipped his dig out in the living room. This is juicy because he's in his mid-30s. Has two kids and a great job. His wife told him he did it the next day. Cuz he sure as sit didn't remember. And nearly everyone present was a co-worker of ours. Some time ago some girl, jokingly, said she wants her BF to get her pregnant or else he will leave her. Guess who's unexpectedly pregnant. I just found out that one of my work colleagues who just returned from an two-week expensive holiday with his wife in Iceland has just found out his wife has run up about 50. Oh 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 debt on numerous credit cards. One of my female friends, who looks like a slightly classier version of Courtney Stodden, confessed to me that she enjoys the thought of two hot, shirtless men fighting over her. She said she is considering goading her boyfriend into fighting some random dude who keeps slipping into her DMs. My friend who shall remain unnamed, has been trying to get with his stepsister's boyfriend. Well not so much trying to get as trying to get in a relationship with. Cause the video he sent me of stepsister's boyfriend bent over told me he already got him. But wait there's more. Boyfriend is a very influential local pastor's son. The same pastor who drives around town with stickers all over his car like. God will punish sinners. Only through Christ can you be saved. But wait there's more. Pastor is cheating on his wife. With friend's mother. 
the head chef at my work has worked there for 34 years and is retiring. His stepdaughter is a server there as well. New sous chef will be replacing head chef. New sous chef is sneaking into head chef's house at night to f asterisk 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 head chef's stepdaughter. New sous chef has a live-in girlfriend of like 6 years and is daddy to her kid. Friend is getting married next weekend. They've been together a few years and have a 2-year-old son. At his bachelor party, we were all poking fun at him on whether or not he was ready. Sit-faced or sober he is 100% committed to them. Another friend of mine is close friends with the bride who is apparently questioning everything about their relationship, and has repeatedly stated that he's not the type of guy she ever imagined seeing herself with. Some girl in our year at school posted on Facebook the other day how her boyfriend had supposedly cheated on her. They had a full-blown argument in the comments just on Facebook for everyone to see. Yesterday she posted a picture of some keys tagging her boyfriend in it saying, just bought our first house together. My neighbor's cousin broke into her house and stole 37 guns. Also I learned my neighbor owned at least 37 guns. My young, hippie chick, sweet. Neighbor has an alcoholic BF. Middle of the night I heard her screaming for help and I immediately knocked on their door. Young dude wasn't happy to see me. Silly words exchanged and I managed to get her into my home. Sometimes we need a time out, regardless of age, to take a breath or two. A few hours later she went home. Turns out the BF's mom is meth head and broke into a neighbor's home madness ensued, and before her arrest she convinced her son to share her meds. They don't know what he took but it didn't react well with him. What kind of mother does that to her son? Now she is awaiting him to bail her out. I was blunt with him and said he needed to focus on himself and his life. Apparently for years my parents have told my teachers I have a learning disability. I didn't know I had learning disability. I don't think I have a learning disability. I asked them why and they said it takes about $1,500 off the cost of my university tuition from some government grant so I guess I have a learning disability. Update. I asked my parents more questions about this and I apparently got tested when I was young and have a legitimate learning disability diagnosis. My parents aren't committing fraud. They knew all along that I was diagnosed and I just recently found out about it. One of the girls in our group of friends has never really gotten over her ex that left her three years ago. She will often bring him up when drunk and it has really hampered her dating life. He lives thousands of miles away. And today he posted a picture of him sitting with an attractive dude getting coffee. They are holding hands and their legs are touching. We were all sitting around the TV hanging out when she saw the picture. Shell shock is the best description for her face. Local celebrity who is known for loads of charity work recently attempted to fake his death in America because he has 24 counts of rape against him back home. Was a little bit of a surprise. Edit, here's the story from a link someone posted below, KYTV News. Com, trending, Scottish man suspected of faking own death is wanted on 24 counts of rape. SSYA, CLG8 plus OJ78JUO, 86B, CD7AZG9FQX. HTML, it's American news but it's been the talk of the town over here. My barber got two different girls pregnant, neither of whom are his girlfriend. Prices have went up a little bit but the phone calls I overhear are worth it lol. Edit. Wow thanks for the gold and silver kind strangers. I feel like I've finally made it in life now. A friend of mine took off for a couple days to try and get into the porn industry from a guy she's met like twice. Edit. Friend is safe and heading back to her house as we speak. Edit too. She's home safe. My grandpa had a secret Alaskan family no one knew about. Thanks 23 and me. I live by a married man. Him and his family are very close to this lady we'll call Jess. They go on vacations with Jess, but in all photos she is near the husband, not the wife. There have been rumors that the husband is cheating on his wife with Jess. Just rumors though, right? Recently Jess moved across the country. We thought that was the end of it. Nope. My dad helps people so they can get mortgages and he just got a call from someone, the husband. They're moving with Jess across the country. Edit. A lot of people are questioning if it's polyamorous and I get that it's possible, but I don't know for sure. They could be leaving this conservative neighborhood because that's the situation. My biological mother's husband of 18 years died in October. She then proceeded to marry a guy she met on the internet just a few weeks prior on Valentine's Day. This guy is on probation for multiple duis, can't drive, and is bringing his 10-year-old kid to live with her and her older college age son biological mother thinks she will not have to be a full-time parent and will only be the kid's backup parent oh yeah and this guy has three kids total from three different women but she's different and it's real love my friend has a birthmark on his penis i know a guy who got his friend to marry him so he can get a green card 
except his friend was already in a relationship. Not only did my friend get married, he also inherited a boyfriend-in-law. Now the three of them live in the same house. A friend found a photo of my younger brother in FetLife sucking a dick, so that's a thing. Haven't told anyone, but yeah. 1. Edit. Changed it to younger so people stop thinking he's underaged. Also he posted the photo himself. He knows it's on there. My dad is 25. Oh 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 in debt on credit cards but he's retired so has no personal income bar his pension. Teacher is having an affair with a married security guard. They're not very careful about the flirting though because most of the 6th graders have figured it out. Can't wait to see what happens. Edit this is in Massachusetts for all those wondering. Sound like a very common situation. Edit number 2 I am a teacher not a 6th grader. Edit number 3 wow. First silver. Thank you kind stranger. A guy from my small city in Scotland fled to California and tried to fake his own death. Man hunt underway. He's wanted for 24 counts of rape. My sill is pregnant. Again. By the same guy she's been in a two-way abusive relationship with for the past six years. Despite constantly moving in and out of his house, filing restraining orders against each other, and accusing each other of cheating every day. They planned this one. Edit. Sill is my husband's sister. Sorry for the confusion. Also CPS has been to their house. My mill takes the baby often so she isn't in the house. Hey Reddit you want some juicy gossip? I just found out I have a one month old baby and I'm scared to tell my family and friends. We just found out a 16 year old internet my work is dealing drugs, including heroin. My mom, who worked 30 plus years in IT. After getting laid off from her last job decided she was done and retired. Well last week she got a job at a clothing company as a cashier. Getting a lot less money than she did in IT. This really isn't. Juicy. Gossip lol. Except that friends and family have been calling me and fishing for details as to why she is re-entering the workforce. Most seem to think she's in some sort of dire financial straits. And I can only imagine the chatter they have among themselves regarding it. Well gossipy friends and family. No need to worry. My mother is in a great financial situation. She's just gotten bored during her retirement and wants a part-time job to keep her occupied. Get her out of the house. And provide for some interaction with other people. One of my sister's friends from her sorority had a mental breakdown on her two roommates. Of all the crazy shit I overheard, the best part was when she got in her car and proceeded to ram into the back of one of the other friend's car, over and over, for almost two hours. Like, the got security camera footage of her ramming the car, backing up, and doing it again for two whole fucking hours. Amazing. Friend of mine and his girlfriend of six months just got engaged. They're both 19. His family is very religious and he doesn't want them to find out he's gay. My uncle's girlfriend left the country with their daughter to our home country. My uncle is in a bad condition medically, and so he had to move in with my grandma to be taken care of. Another aunt here has a boyfriend back in our home country, so a long-distance relationship of some sort. Turns out my uncle's girlfriend went back home to have an affair with my aunt's boyfriend. Edit. My uncle doesn't have multiple girlfriends I think I wrote something and edited it while I was typing an entirely different train of thought oops. My ex and I divorced because he came out to me 18 years into our marriage as bi. He thought if he could just try it once he'd get it out of his system. His exact words. I gave him a hall pass. Knowing deep down this was who he was and he wasn't going to. Get it out of his system. He ended up cheating on me with randos from Craigslist. Etc. When we split. We told everyone we grew apart. My adult kids don't know and I promised never to tell. Our friends don't know. Just me. He's now happily in a relationship with another woman but still hangs out quite a bit with a guy the first know he's been involved with. He says for him it's just physical and he doesn't ever want a relationship with a man. It's been a tough secret to keep. I started seeing a boy from my university around Christmas who ended up giving me the good ol' ghost. About two weeks ago, I met a girl at a party through mutual friends. Through the drunken instant bonding that happens when girls pee together at parties, we discovered that he began ignoring me because he started seeing her, but had already abandoned her as well. We haven't deduced who the next victim is yet. My uncle told my parents that he needed money because he borrowed from the Chinese mafia and they were threatening to kill him and his family or something. My parents sent him some money and then two weeks later he posted a pic with a new car. Edit. My uncle said the money he borrowed was to pay off his house. Edit 2. He did not actually borrow from the Chinese mafia. He didn't even get a new house. More clarification. We are Chinese Malaysian. Most of our family lives in Malaysia while we live in the US. People USU ask us for money BC my parents started a good business here. Recently got my ancestry DNA results back and found out I have a half-sister of a different ethnicity. 
as a product of my father's cheating ways. My wife's gay brother is having an affair with his husband's half-sister. The friend that told me. Also says the half-sister is desperate to get pregnant. This could get interesting. Edit. I'll cover off a few of the more common questions. 1. No. My wife doesn't know yet. I will tell her soon. She's been insanely stressed at work finishing a project. I didn't want to burden her additionally. 2. Yes. Sounds like he is bi, rather than gay. 3. Should have said in the original post. He has no idea that she is trying to get pregnant. I just found out that the guy who sexually assaulted me 10 years ago in college had the crap beat out of him by some of my male friends a few days after. They never said anything to anyone at the time because they could be expelled for it. Edit for those wondering. There were multiple witnesses to the act. My soon-to-be ex-wife and I separated in August 2018. She decided to end the marriage because she concluded that I would never trust her after she had an affair for more than half of our 15-year marriage. We tried to reconcile for two years during which time she repeatedly told me that she had changed and that she'd never lie to me again. But, I kept catching her in lie after lie. Now, she is seriously dating a guy, since at least December, and she's cheating on him with another guy. Remember folks, she has changed. A guy the first no tried to commit suicide after his wife left him and took the kids. We just guessed they had some kind of marriage issues. Turns out some photos of him dogging in a car park got posted through his letterbox. The twist in the story is, the person he was dogging was a dude. None of us saw that coming. Edit, oh and the person that posted the photos through his letterbox was the other dude's wife. My sister might not be my sister. Two of my best friends got engaged in June last year. He lived interstate. And so they decided that, because of his work, she would move up to him. She moved up at the very start of January. And within two days he broke off the engagement. Yesterday I found out it's because he'd met another woman and, supposedly, had been seeing her in December. So not only did he let her move to another state only to break up with her, but apparently there was someone already on the scene. Not sure how true the last bit is, but as my close friends, I've never felt so conflicted in my life and I hope to God that that last bit isn't true. But he has a girlfriend now, so that's not looking too good. One of my co-workers is getting a divorce. He led me, and others, to believe his wife became extremely controlling after they had their son a few months ago. Turns out he's banging another co-workers. Both are in management, both are married with kids, and I'm disgusted by the whole situation. My four years old found out that if he goes to bed mommy and daddy watch TV. He's so mad at us. This is a bit dated due to OPSEC but someone moves to town to open a restaurant with the proceeds to benefit charity. Hires a bunch of folks gets restaurant open, come to find out all his employees were volunteers. Volunteers who expected to get paid, they all quit immediately. Dude goes to the homeless shelter and hires a bunch of folks to run his restaurant. Well, that goes. Poorly. Within six weeks he's closed. Evicted from his rental house with three felony warrants. My roommate is banging my ex in. Secret. One of my professors has mentioned that he's been married to his wife for 10 years. And he talks about his four young kids often. I found out through a friend who had a drunken encounter with him that my prof's oldest kid has a different mom. The kicker is that his oldest kid is only six. My sister's deadbeat baby daddy just got her up after five years saying he wants to be a part of the kid's life. Meanwhile not a penny of child support. My friend is sleeping with her 17-year-old stepson. She's always been into younger guys. And she married a man with two kids. She only married him for financial support and so she could move away from her family. And now she's been getting in with his son. I was shocked. My ex-girlfriend was supposed to be married this weekend. I was invited. The mother-in-law and fiancé came over to her apartment and berated her in front of her family for reasons unknown. Long story short. Wedding is cancelled and over 50 plus people were not able to get refunded. Currently by the beach sipping bottomless mimosas. I always suspected she was, but I found out yesterday that a friend was sleeping with her colleague. No. Sorry. Colleagues. She was having it off with several each week. My ex and mother of my son went off and eloped last night to an ex-con. Drug addict with personality disorder. I'm guessing she wanted to keep it a secret but forgot her FB profile is public and everyone I know hates her so I woke up to about a dozen text messages letting me know. Can't wait to see how her frocking sit show impacts my sons and my life this time. A friend of mine, whose BF made her move far away and keeps her low contact with her friends and family. Just found out she's pregnant. At 31 weeks along, a co-worker asked if she was expecting and that prompted her to take a test. We all hate the BF baby daddy, who didn't want the baby and was, is trying to convince her to give it up. So we are hopeful that she will leave him for good when she comes home to have the baby. 
My dad has a half-sister that I never knew existed. And apparently she doesn't know either. But my dad has known since before I was born. Also it was from my granddad cheating on my nana with my nana's sister. This is some soap opera sit man. Found porn of my best friend. She doesn't know I know. Happy cake day. Ninja edit. Not giving link. Edit. Some people are concerned that she does not know that the video is out there. It's a solo video. And the account name is the same as one of her old usernames from a couple years ago. I'm 100% sure she uploaded it. And I'm not that surprised really. Update. F in the chat boys. I accidentally used my main account and she saw my post. Woke up to a message containing a link to my comment. Hey M. Edit. Yikes I'm in a video. The man who recently rammed the gate at the end of my driveway one night a few months ago. Just got arrested for shooting and killing his father. It was so creepy I came home late one night to a man throwing up. Bloody faced in my driveway. He was obviously intoxicated and when I said he needed paramedics. He kept insisting his face always looked like that. There was something off about him. My instincts were telling me to be careful and get away. Cut to a few months later and I see his messed up face in the local news for murder. Edit. Man's face. I believe it's a birth defect. Edit 2. People are saying it's a port wine stain but why is the lower lip swollen? And I feel like the hair on the bottom lip is related to all of this. One of the couples I know made a porno and posted it online. But that's not too weird for them. The thing causing drama is that they are openly promoting it. And his side piece found out she was the side piece via Pornhub. My cousin. Who had a rough early life. Proposed to his girlfriend today in her native language. Which he secretly took courses for. And she said yes. My closest friend's biological mother is insane. She broke up with his dad about 15 years ago and although one custody to see the kid every Monday, my friend is legitimately scared to visit her. She's not on drugs or anything but just has a pure hatred for his father. Recently, after my friend told his dad that he didn't wanna go, he went with him to drop him off. She didn't like that. She didn't like that to a point that as soon as he stepped into her house, she shot at him. Grazed his shoulder. Not clear on what happened after this. But the dad took the kid away and called the police on her. A girl I went to high school with was dating a guy who then killed a man and went to jail. She has two of his kids and he proposed to her while he was in jail. She said yes. Then she found out he cheated on her before he went to jail and broke it off. Then a few weeks later. She gets back with him saying it's best for her family. He's still in jail and apparently cheating is worse than killing someone. 